Hello, my name is Dr. George Chow. I'm a urologist at the Mayo Clinic, and I've been asked to speak to you today about organ-confined kidney cancer. Kidney cancer can basically be divided into a number of different states. We describe organ-confined kidney cancer as the ki kidney cancer that's only in the kidney. Advanced or metastatic cancer is kidney cancer that is extended beyond the kidney or has spread to other organs in the body. When it comes to organ-contained kidney cancer, or organ-confined kidney cancer, we often are talking about kidney tumors that are being discovered uh, earlier and earlier. Kidney cancer incidence in the United States has been going up drastically over the last decade or two, and that is not due to the fact that there's an epidemic of kidney cancer, but rather to, it's due to the increased usage of cross-sectional imaging studies, such as CT scans or MRI scans. These kidney tumors are being found more often by accident rather than because of any symptoms. The classic triad of symptoms for kidney cancer are flank pain, flank mass, and blood in the urine. More and more, we're not finding kidney cancers in that manner. Most of our patients are asymptomatic. There are no symptoms, and we just find them by accident on a CT scan or MRI. As far as the management of kidney cancer, it's quite different than it was in the 1970s or 1980s where up to one-third of patients would present with metastatic disease and actually be in very great risk to their life. Currently, we find these tumors at smaller, earlier stages, and there are many effective treatments for managing these. Here at the Mayo Clinic, we have probably the largest tumor registry in the world, and this aids us greatly in translating research into therapies for patients. We're on the forefront of almost every technology used for treating kidney cancer, both surgical and non-surgical. I think it benefits our patients greatly that we have the, these resources available. Now, as far as actual kidney cancer treatments, uh, they include active surveillance, percutaneous ablation, partial nephrectomy, and radical nephrectomy. Active surveillance basically is a form of observation where we actually don't do any kind of actual treatment on the tumor, but actually watch it with x-rays. And the reason for doing that is that many of the tumors that we're finding nowadays, which are typically four centimeters or smaller, have a very non-life-threatening course. As an example, uh, if you're a 75-year-old man that came in with a two centimeter kidney tumor, your actual risk of dying from that kidney tumor over a five-year period is probably only about 2%. And that's untreated, you know, nothing done about it, just leaving it alone. On the other hand, that gentleman probably has about a 30% chance of dying from another cause or from another cancer that hasn't yet been diagnosed. So the actual risk of death from the kidney tumor may not be as high as you might think. In terms of choosing whether or not to go with active surveillance or not, uh, a lot of that has to do with uh, what the patient is comfortable with. A lot of pe patients that are selected for active surveillance tend to be older or sicker patients who may not do well with general anesthesia. In terms of uh, minimally invasive therapies, we also have percutaneous ablation, and that is either burning or freezing the tumor under the guidance of ultrasound or CT scan. It's done by interventional radiologists, and they stick a needle through your skin into the tumor and either burn it or freeze it guiding the needle using ultrasound or CT scan. This is a very well-tolerated procedure. Patients usually leave the hospital the next day and uh, is quite effective. Uh, the reasons for choosing this treatment may be if the patient is older or sicker and cannot tolerate surgery. The main downside to it is there's about a 10% risk of treatment failure. Now we would talk about surgical treatments for kidney tumors. Partial nephrectomy is the removal of the tumor while sparing the kidney, and radical nephrectomy is removal of the entire kidney. In general, we are performing these procedures either using a standard open surgical technique involving making an incision in the patient and exposing the kidney and removing the tumor, or a minimally invasive technique using laparoscopy, which is putting small holes in the belly, filling the belly with gas, and then either removing the tumor with laparoscopic instruments or using a surgical robot. There is growing evidence to support preserving the kidney, and therefore, more and more, we're trying to do either partial nephrectomies or percutaneous ablation instead of radical nephrectomy. Uh, what 
uh, method you use to treat the tumor will be determined by you and your doctor. I've been working at the Mayo Clinic for over a decade, and during that time I've appreciated the support and interactions with my colleagues both within my department and outside my department. The Mayo Clinic has enormous resources that can be brought to bear for the care of patients with organ-confined kidney cancer, and these can only serve to benefit potential patients. Thank you.